So we invited six non-technical people from different age groups and backgrounds and made them play a game that completely blew their minds. But all of this is being generated by code. Ooh, this is so exciting. I don't understand anything about code, so... None of them have ever coded before, but today they will build a prototype for their first website quiz or app with Lovable AI, a tool that helps you create products without any coding. All six participants will pick one chip each from these three different goals. The first goal will answer what are they building. Next will tell who are they building it for. And the last goal will tell them why are they building it. Then we will stitch these three answers to make one single prompt that will be pasted into three different AI apps. ChatGPT, Gemini and Claude. All three apps will improve our basic prompt into something much, much better. And then we will copy paste these new improved prompts into Lovable and show these participants what AI made from their prompt. Each participant will pick the best output and after all six are done, we will decide which model out of ChatGPT, Gemini and Claude gave the best outputs. So let's have our first participant. My name is Neha Kamath. I am a homemaker. I am 55 years old. Hello, my name is Pezan. I am 18 years old and I am a student at Bitscoa. Hi, my name is Viti Giri. I am a content creator and I am 24 years old. Hi, my name is Rajasri Ahire. Age? 58. And I am professional artist. TV serial, Hindi and Marathi. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nandini. I'm 23 years old and I work in social media marketing. Hi, I'm Tarun, founder and CEO at Tarun Speaks. I am from Mumbai. I am an entrepreneur, corporate trainer and a digital marketing consultant and I am 30 years old. Create a beautiful website for a housewife to become more productive. Create a beautiful website for a scientist to save more money. Create an interactive game for a chartered accountant to save more money. Create an quiz for a professor to become more productive. Create a beautiful website for a content creator to make more money. Create an engaging quiz for a content creator to become more productive. Now we will input this prompt into Claude, Gemini and ChatGPT to create better structured prompts. Then we took the improved prompts from all of these tools and pasted them back into Lovable. Then we did the same exercise with every other participant. All of them ended up creating their own prompts using these chits. Then one by one, we started running the prompts inside Lovable. Each prompt was improved by all these three tools one by one. Now, what has been the most crazy AI news that you've heard about? Fake images. Nandini, have you ever tried to make a website? No, I haven't. This is so exciting. I don't understand anything about code. Never, yeah. right? This is the first time you're seeing yeah. this. You have? How much time did it usually take? It took like a day or two. And what did you make after a day? Pretty bad. It's been pretty bad. For everyone, it's pretty bad. You'll yeah. have to be embarrassed about it. So, Vidhi, is this the first time you're seeing like a no-code AI tool? Yes. Have you ever heard about anything about no-code or AI tools in general? No, never. Your first time? Yes. I mean, I've heard of it vaguely, but like in action, definitely. Yeah. And who do you think will win? So far, just looking at the prompts. You think Claude might yeah, win? Yeah. For me, it's GPT. Yeah? It's more simplified and that's how I like it. Oh, I think it looks very basic compared to the other two prompts that we saw. And like you said, Claude gave us 10 times more than what it is doing. It is not giving us as much depth as I think Claude gave us. It's very superficial and surface level is what I felt. So we already have the website created. Oh wow, ChatGPT has actually created a website for the content creator uh, where the creator can sell it's correct. products. Yeah. But in the case of Gemini... Okay. It's a dashboard, I think, Yeah. for the creator to check. Yeah. So Gemini thought that we want to make a dashboard. It automatically changed the prompt from a website to a dashboard for the creator. It's too good. Right? It has given superpowers, personalized productivity tips, share your results, retake, build my own custom workflow. So overall, like pretty good. Yeah, I pretty think good the stuff. Ends was good. So we have the first one ready. So it's called Finance Quest for Chartered Accountants, Gamified Learning, Real Scenarios, AI Recommendations. So if I click, oh, so by the way, it's asking, choose your CA persona. Are you a salaried CA, practice? Practicing CA or a CA firm owner, which one would you pick? Practicing like? CA. So now we have like a bunch of answers. Now we are going to the third one. So in the third one, there are many things written. Start assessment. Kara. 
तो ये चला ही नहीं तो कुछ तो इसमें एरर आ गया है तो तीसरा आ गया तो फेल ही हो गया है सो वी हैव अ रियली रियली कूल वेबसाइट दैट सेज फाइनेंशियल टूल्स बिल्ड फॉर साइंटिफिक माइंड इट्स बिन एबल टू क्रिएट a dashboard as well which is way better than what clot did oh so if i click on grants from the home page then we have a proper grant section as well where you can see how much we've spent from the grants and then we have a saving section as well so this was chat gpt then this was gemini and this was clot if you had to rank out of these three so which one would you like the most the clot one okay so clot comes on the top second would be so gemini one and the gemini three chat third one would be chat gpt right pehle wala pehla wala zyada better lag raha hai और क्यों वो ही थोड़ा आसान लगते हैं ना दूसरे से हाँ ये मतलब थोड़ा आसान है मतलब इसमें कम चीजें हैं तो आपको वो ज्यादा बेटर लग रहा है If I have to choose one between the two, then I would say Claude. I think second one I would give to again Gemini Chat GPT the last because it was I think not as exciting for me to fill the quiz in the first place. Gemini, it's very easy to apply. And the colors is also good. And which would be the second one? This was then Chat GPT. Yeah. Chat GPT, yeah. right? Yeah. So first we'll have Gemini, then Chat GPT, then Claude. Yeah. So which one would you like the most? First Chat GPT one. I think I apart from obviously the layout, I think this is closest to what the prompt or what we had in mind was. Second actually would be the Gemini one, and I'll tell you why. Even though I like this is more of an assistant, I think it's still more relevant to an individual creator than the one that Claude made. Like I like the UI of Claude better. Chat GPT takes number two. Gemini is third. So even though Chat GPT gave like a bunch of pages, you kind of still prefer the Claude output. Yeah. And the reason for that is it looked better. There's more information given on the ring one page itself. What do you think is the tentative cost like in your mind as a non-technical person? How much do you think a website might cost? I give you three ranges: ten thousand to twenty thousand, above fifty thousand, above one lakh. Above fifty thousand. Above fifty thousand. Dus bis. Dus bis azar. Minimum na. No? Maybe one lakh. One lakh. Oh yeah. One lakh and above. Yeah. That is a very big budget. Most people don't have that budget. So I'd like to tell everyone that the Lovable that we are using right now, it has basically used a specific model. Anthropic is the model that it's been using. So right now we're only checking how good ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude are when it comes to improving the prompt. But the execution model is the same for all the three websites. So the, so the true test of this exercise is how good. these three tools are when it comes to brainstorming about how a product works and not really the execution part of things and now it was time to decide which ai tool was the final winner so we asked every single participant which output did you like the most finally at the very end we realized that this app is the winner can you imagine AI is now helping people across age groups build prototypes of apps and websites within minutes. But there are three key concepts to remember. While all of these people can conceptualize the prototype, they will still need developers on their team to flesh out this idea end to end. Developers think that with AI, they can just skip everything and just jump to the final output. It feels like a lottery, but it isn't. Because even if you build something with AI in one tenth of the time without understanding the core concepts, you won't really know Know how to maintain it, scale it, or fix it when something breaks. Therefore, you need experienced builders who know the little details of how your product works to actually ship them to the public. AI will code and humans will program. So instead of focusing on coding or fancy prompt engineering, learn the basics of user research and product planning. Now, all of these things put together can help you make your first app or website very easily using a tool like Lovable. Every single person that we got here was completely unprepared. This was their first tech product, so you can obviously imagine the power that all of these AI tools will give you. In the future, almost everyone will be able to come up with their own prototype, their own website, their own quiz. within days using a tool like lovable and if you want to try out lovable go to the link in description because it is one of the most magical tools that we have ever seen so if you like this video let us know in the comment section what was your favorite part let us know if you would want to learn something similar or in utmost detail make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update this is your dost ansh mehra and you are learning from the cutting edge school enabled by the 01 network by zerodha